Vlogmas Day 24 and Merry Christmas Eve. Um, I'm heading to work. Today's gonna work a little different. You're actually gonna see this tonight instead of tomorrow. So we are in the same time frame now. So I just got my coffee from Dutch Bros. You know me. Um, I had three full cards. I paid for my coffee and got a stamp on my other card, but then I left the three full cards for the three people behind me. So hopefully they will pass that on because today should be a happy day for everyone. So I'm doing okay emotionally. Um, yesterday, Xavier and I just laid around the house. We did nothing. We played video games and I, well, okay. I did my laundry. I cleaned my room a little bit. I edited obviously, but you know, we just kind of took it easy. And then when he went home, we looked at some Christmas lights on the way there. <clears throat> so I'll show you guys that in this vlog. But I have to go to work today. I have to make payroll checks. I don't know how long I'll be at work because really all I have to do is do payroll checks. We will see if we're busy at all. I doubt it. Most of the businesses around us are closed today and tomorrow. Um, some of them are actually closed all week. So um, where my office is, my the business I work for, it's industrial area. So it's all around us too. So that's kind of how we gauge things. We'll like call and be like, hey, are you guys open on Monday? <laughs> but we've been so busy that my boss just made today optional. And for me, it's not optional because I have to come in and do paychecks because our actual payday is on Christmas Day. So I'd rather the guys have their check early if they want it than the day after. So I'm gonna do that. I, I really don't have any other plans. I need to wrap my nephew's gifts. I really wanna do some of those Q&A questions. And I want to bake some cookies um, and make Rice Krispie treats. So those are like the few things on my agenda. Um, I know my roommate is off work today and he had set out butter this morning. So I assume he's going to be making some cookies. So hopefully he's doing that while I'm at work. Because uh, there's no way that the two of us can be in the kitchen at the same time. Like you saw me and Xavier in that kitchen. It's so small. <coughs> so that's my plan for the day um i have to be oh there's a bottle of diet coke that i left in here and it's rolling around in the back if you're hearing that <laughs> um but i just have to leave we're leaving at like 9 a.m to go to my mom's tomorrow so should be okay we're having a taco bar again, which is super easy for all of us. Um, I was just asked to bring some desserts, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, what else is going on? Nothing else is going on. So hopefully tonight we will make some cookies and wrap some gifts. Um, I really only have like three gifts to put together. Um, I just have the gifts for my nephews that I have to wrap. So that's it. Um, that's crazy to me that they, I only had to wrap that many gifts this year. Like it's, it's weird, but, uh, oh, I did have, I think it was yesterday. Uh, I got my candy Fox tattoo two years ago yesterday. Um, that's on my leg. If you guys haven't seen it. If you've been around for a little while, you've seen it. I haven't shown it in a while because it's winter. Your girl don't shave her legs. I haven't shaved since summer. <sighs> no, I think I did shave right before I went to California. I did. I shaved my legs right before California. So that's the last time I've shaved. I, I hate shaving my legs. That's like the biggest chore. Not only is there a lot of territory to cover, but it's just a painting. Like, it's just a pain in the butt. Not a fun task at all. Hi, guys. So, it's after work. I actually got off at, like, 1230 or 1 o'clock. And it's, like, 3 o'clock now. 
Um, I went and got my nails redone. Black sparkle. And um, I had noticed after I took my nails off that I was having kind of trouble like texting and getting the right letters. Well, I just texted when I came out of the salon and no problem. I've become so accustomed to having nails that I can't text without them. <laughs> it gets so weird. Something else that kind of bothered me while I was in there. When I'm in there, I turn my phone off. I don't like, so it doesn't make any noise. I don't sit there and talk on my phone or play with my phone while they're doing my nails. I just, I think it's rude. There were three other people in there and they were all like older than me. Okay, like I don't know how old they were. Like they looked to be my mom's age, which is mid 50s. It was one man and two ladies. None of them were together. They were all there separately. All three of them took at least two phone calls and were like having their phone make noise the whole time. And I was like, and you like, the younger generation gets so much shit about being on their phones all the time, but like y'all can't put that shit away for like hour, hour and a half. Like stop. I just don't get it. Like I know that I make my money or like not all of my money, but a portion of my money on social media. I get that. But like, I put my phone down a lot. <laughs> like, there'll be times where I don't check messages for a day, maybe two days. And it just, I don't know, it just bothered me. Hello loves. I know that the last few days I haven't been really in the Christmas spirit or much at all that's Vlogmas. And I do apologize for that. It just, this year just doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like Christmas. I don't know, that's strange. Um, in my living room again, so the lighting is sh shite. <laughs> but I do have some of the questions from Instagram I thought we could go through. I need to wrap the gifts for my nephews. And, um... Yeah, my friend Lou is actually reading A Christmas Carol, and that's pretty fun. Um, I've got all my Harry Potter figures out, so when we open up the final one, we can kind of look at all of them and play with them, so that's kind of my plan. Um, yeah. Let's see. From 20 Tower, one of the first questions is, well, this was the very first question. Uh, what's one thing you look forward to this Christmas, and is there anything you're trying that's new in the new year? I mean new as in resolutions, like doing more makeup videos, vlogs, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, what I'm looking forward to for Christmas is spending some time with my nephews and getting big hugs for these gifts that I bought them. <laughs> Not that they wouldn't give me big hugs without them, but uh, I think they're really going to like these. So, um, Trying for the new year. I would like to get back into cooking videos. Those are like so highly requested and I enjoy them a lot. So, kind of hoping that Xavier and I might be able to like once a week make dinner together and kind of share it with you guys, I think that would be like super fun. Do you re-gift? If so, do you have any funny re-gifting stories? I re-gift all the time. Um, I don't see a problem with it. Obviously I'm not going to re-gift to that person or anyone in their family, <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean I re-gift to you guys all the time. I'll get stuff in like a FabFitFun or even in a PR box and I'll like give it to you guys. But um, I'm trying to think. Oh, so for instance, this year for my family Christmas, I put together a box of stuff from FabFitFun. It had a teapot, tea towels, a blanket, and then I bought some tea to put into it. And I put it in this really nice box. And my mom ended up with it. She regifted it to her nurse at work. So, hey, whatever works, right? What was the absolute worst gift you've ever received or given? That's from Victoria. Um, the uh, regifting question was from Barbie T. Nineteen seventy one. 
Oh gosh, the worst gift you've ever received. I can't really think of like a terrible gift. Um, yeah, I can't really think of one. Hmm. And I don't, I'm not super great at giving gifts. I don't, I don't think. But I like to think that they're not terrible, I would hope. I'm trying to like, so you guys can see what I'm going to be doing. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Okay. <clears throat> From Caitlin Cormier. Cormier. What's your favorite color? Purple. Finding Evie, what is your favorite holiday memory? Were holidays always big for you? Holidays are huge in my family. Well, Christmas is huge. Uh, this is for Leo. It's a baby dinosaur, like, and it like really talks and stuff. Maybe he doesn't move in the box, which is fine with me. But he can feed him and he'll talk and move around. And then for Landon, he asked for this one many, many months ago. So I've had this one for a while. Um, but I saw that one, the dinosaur, and I thought Leo would love it. Okay, sorry. Favorite holiday memory uh, were holidays always big for you. Um, Christmas was very important to my family. We always, always got together on Christmas Day. And when I talk about family, it's my mom's side of the family. Um, my dad's side doesn't live here, so we don't see them for the holidays. But we always went to my grandpa and grandma's house. And some of my favorite memories are us, like, playing card games. And just having fun. It's like, not necessarily the gifts, but like, you know, the times we spent together. So those are my fondest memories. Let's see. Baba222111. What are your favorite Christmas songs? Uh, I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas is my very favorite Christmas song. Um, I like the first Noel if I'm going to sing a Christmas song, like really put my heart into it. I feel bad because like I don't dislike a lot of Christmas songs, but Xavier really likes the Beatles. And the two Christmas songs that are not on my favorites list is uh, Paul McCarthy's, or Paul McCartney's song, and um, John Lennon's song. Alright, next question... Besides Christmas Vacation Movie, what are your favorite Christmas movies? I think Home Alone's a classic. You gotta watch Home Alone at least once. Um, my very favorite is The Night They Saved Christmas. It's like this super old one. Um, Jacqueline Smith is in it. It's like, I think it's probably like one of those Hallmark Lifetime movie things. Um, but yeah, it's like from the 80s and... My grandma had it on a VHS that she had like recorded off the TV and we always watched it and then when I got to be an adult I couldn't find it and it took me years to find it on Amazon and then when I got it I tried to take it out of the package and you know how on DVDs it's like on the little plastic thing in the middle you kind of have to push it down it broke the CD it broke the DVD so then I had to find it again <laughs> and you can only find it on like compilation Christmas things. Yeah, it was a pain in the ass to find, but I finally found it. Um, I love Elf. The Grinch with Jim Carrey is fantastic. This box is very awkward. 
I have a, a, a fairly big collection of Christmas movies. <laughs> that was from Little Matey. Um, Megan Kitch, if you could choose one Christmas treat to make and enjoy, what would it be? Um, I really like magic bars, but I did not make any this year. Like tonight I just made um, chocolate chip mint cookies and a batch of Rice Krispie Treats. And, I don't know, I might throw together some cornflake bars to take tomorrow. Since those went over so well with my guys at work. That looks like crap! Don't care! Not that I don't care, but it looks good enough. Like, he's just going to rip it off anyway. Eh. This is for Leo. Leo, Leo. I'm glad I don't have, like, a crap ton of gifts to take with me. Uh, so that was from Megan Kitch and Alicia... No, Alice Eula asked the same thing. Favorite holiday snack or treat? Do you dress up for Christmas or have a chilled one? Um, we don't dress up per se, but I do like, I dress nicely. I don't like necessarily wear a dress, but I make sure that I'm, you know, somewhat dressed nicely. Mostly just to please my mom. How much paper's on here? I'm gonna be using the rest of that one. Uh, Rebecca Faith, what's your favorite holiday related thing to do with your nephews? I love baking with them. I wish we had done that this year. I felt like. How did I run out of weekends before Christmas? Like. What happened? Where did they go? I find it somewhat difficult as an adult to enjoy the season as much as I did before. And again, maybe it's because I don't have kids, but like, I don't know. I just feel like it's not as fun. What's your favorite activity to do that gets you in the holiday spirits? From Colleen. Usually it's either watching specific movies or looking at Christmas lights, but even that hasn't worked this year. <laughs> and then everything that happened this weekend like with my cat is weighing heavily on my heart. But Roger has been sending me videos of our other cat. She seems happy. I think she knew he was sick. And Roger said she kind of already said her goodbyes. So it's nice of him to send me videos and stuff since I can't be over there. Well, not that I can't, but it's part of the choice that I made. If you're new here, uh, Roger is my soon-to-be ex-husband, I guess. Um, when people ask, I don't know how to describe our relationship. Because it is very strange for people to try to understand. Um, we don't hate each other. We didn't split up because we can't get along. It just... We're not healthy for each other in in a way that most people can't understand. You know, we're not emotionally abusive or anything, but we enable each other to be unhealthy with our food choices and our lifestyle choices. So that is why we are not together. I feel like I'm super depressing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Mary Bellady. Are you and Xavier spending Christmas together? We are not. Not not Christmas Day, anyway. Um, he was over for the weekend, and so that's kind of when we celebrated Christmas with each other. 
Um, he lives with some friends and their son, he calls his nephew. Um, it's the kid that he babysits for and that kid adores him. Adores him. So he wants to make sure he's home for that. And my mom had asked that Roger be invited to Christmas at her house. So I did that for her. And so Roger and I will be going to my mom's tomorrow. And then I'll see Xavier again on probably Wednesday or Thursday. He lives um, right near my work. So I usually just pick him up on my way home from work and he comes over and spends the night or sometimes I take him home before I go to bed so this one's for Landon I don't have anyone here to beat over the head with this it's sad whoops Home Alone or Home Alone 2? We can all agree that 3 that three and beyond don't count. Agreed. Um, I'm a sucker for Home Alone the original, but I think 2 is just as good, if not... Well, yeah, as good. Um, I enjoy it immensely. I think it's a good movie. That's one where I think like both the, the first one and the second one are good. Scatter, 5321, do you like fruitcake? No. <laughs> Tea of the Beautiful, what age were you when you found out your parents were Santa? I honestly don't remember. I know some people say it's like super traumatic, and I just never felt that way. So I don't know if that's just me being, you know, difficult or what, but it didn't bother me. Oh! Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't remember it being, like, super traumatic or anything. Um, TV... tv -sa Allen. What are you getting Xavier for Christmas? Um, I got him... What? Three t-shirts. A pair of pants that were all supernatural themed. I got him a beanie that has like headphones in it so that he can wear it and listen to music of like Bluetooth. Um, and then I got him necklaces that say bitch and jerk and it's from the show Supernatural. So I kept the bitch one and gave him the jerk one so that we could have matching necklaces. Um, and then he got me a necklace and I put the bitch charm on the necklace he got me so I can always wear it. Um, was there anything else? Oh, I got him some socks because I think everybody likes socks at Christmas. What's your favorite holiday drink? I like when they come out with like the sea salt caramel stuff. That's like my jam. I forgot I got them stocking stuffers too. So this is for Lan. No, this is for Leo. This Hatchimals thing is for Landon. And then these two Harry Potter Lego things are for Logan. I mean, I shouldn't have forgot that I got them stocking stuffers, but I also got them Christmas ornaments. Uh, Leo's is Paw Patrol. Landon's is Hatchimals and... Logan's is Mario. So for Logan, he's getting the Super Mario slippers that he asked for. I got him this fun science slime kit. And then some Star Wars Legos. Oh, and this beanie from Psychonauts. Which I think he'll like. Alright. My camera fell over and then it wouldn't focus. That was terrifying. <laughs> Uh, favorite holiday drink? Yeah, I answered that. What are your plans with your fans in the future? This is from last Caitlin. Um, I hope that we can just keep doing what we're doing. <laughs> um, I enjoy hearing from all of you. And, oh, I do want to say something. Sound activated? What is this thing 
they do? Do they talk? What? Hold up. Um, I want to thank you guys for being so sweet about my cat and being supportive and offering so much support. I, I adore that. Thank you. That's awesome. I didn't know they did that. That's hilarious. Get in there, guys. Can I get the slime in here, too? I can't. Um, so, yeah, I mean... I share a lot with you guys. I want to continue doing vlogs. Maybe make them shorter because <laughs> I'm awful at it. Um, like I said, I want to go back to the cooking videos and I think we all just sh should grow together. I think next year, 2019, I think is going to be a year where I really do work on my health and my stamina and being able to you know, do more than what I do now in the physical sense, like walk farther and things like that. It's not like, it's not like I can't walk or like don't. It's just that like, I would like to be able to go farther. Do you have a favorite holiday meal, side dish or drink? Not really, I guess. We do things differently every year. Like, we had a taco bar this year. Uh, we've done traditional. We do Italian. Um, can't really think of anything that I, like, super look forward to. God, I am so boring. Uh, what's your favorite Christmas tradition from your childhood? Do you still keep up with that tradition? Uh, one of my favorites was always going and looking for our Christmas tree and then carrying it back. And I think I talked about that. I think I talked about that a bit when we were um, getting my tree out. But we would always carry our tree back from the tree farm that was right up the road. And... Um, another tradition that I really, really like was Christmas Eve. My mom would always have us open a gift, and it was 90% of the time pajamas and a game, that I, a game that we could play as a family. And so I really enjoyed doing that. That's not going to fit, is it? cut it too short so I would love to continue to do that if I had kids um gosh another thing is looking at Christmas lights and I think that's a really special way to like all be in the car together and looking for Christmas lights and ooing and awing over some of the displays so that's really special to me too. And I, I took Xavier last night and that was pretty fun. Do you believe in making New Year's resolutions? If so, what are yours for 2019? Um, well, I want to, I think we just talked about it. I want to be healthier. It's not like, it's not even like a health thing. Like, I just want to feel better. Because like, I don't have high blood pressure. My blood sugar isn't high. Like, Anything like that, but obviously I'm obese, so like, I'm not 100% healthy, you know what I mean? But it's more about like, feeling better and more confident and 
So here's a for instance. My friend Brittany, who is amazing, invited me to a Justin Timberlake concert. And I was like, <laughs> no, no. Because, first of all, huge crowd, right? That freaks me out. Well, then, there's also the fact that I'm twice the size, if not more, than a normal person. Normal person. And it can sometimes be uncomfortable. And so it really, like, my anxiety was just insane. And my sister was like, no, you need to go. You're going, blah, blah, blah. And as it turns out, the concert got canceled. Like, Justin canceled the concert. So we have until February now. It was supposed to be, I think, in November. And I don't have an excuse. So part of me wanting to be healthier and feel better is to be more confident in going to that concert and not being uncomfortable the entire time. Not being nervous or anxious and just enjoying the concert. And so that's part of my resolution in 2019. And, like, I don't necessarily believe in making resolutions or, like, sticking to, like, something that isn't going to work or making a promise to yourself that you know isn't going to work or waiting till the first of the year to do something about it. But for me this year, that's what's happening. <laughs> it's like, that's just how it is. What holiday are you coming back so we can drink? Is that a holiday question? Oh, <laughs> That's from Lulu. <laughs> uh, Lulu, I think you need to make a trip here. I mean, Brittany and I are both here. So, yeah. You and Ryan can come visit us. Freaking Lulu. She's another person that I'm super thankful for this year that I got to meet and spend time with. And I just, I love her so much. What are your favorite Christmas cookies? I'm a uh, mm -mm, simpleton. Chocolate chip walnut is always going to be my go-to. So I guess that's my best answer. <laughs> Christmas song. Do you feel funny opening gifts in front of people? Yeah, it makes me a little uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> Number one, because I know if I did get something crappy, my face will not hide it. Because <laughs> I'm not good at that. Um, but I also am like, I, I have everything I need. I get whatever I need for myself. And so like, I don't feel like anyone needs to buy me a gift. And I don't, I don't want my friends to, you know, necessarily spend their money on me. Okay, here's a good one. This is from Oddity Bloggity. She comes into my Twitch streams all the time. I'm trying to make it a goal to try some new stuff this coming year, to really push myself out of my comfort zone. Can you think of three things that you want to do next year to take you out of your comfort zone? Well, we just talked about the concert, and that's a huge one for me. Um, I would also like to get back into the gym. I, I know I've been talking about this for like a year, but every time I even get near there, my anxiety just goes through the roof and I just start to freak out. And I wasn't even this freaked out the first time I went. Because I had already been on a really good path and I knew where I was going. So I think I was more confident then, but now it just, it blows my mind. Um, I would also like to do a little more traveling. I would like to go to Canada. I got my enhanced license. I think over a year ago, and I'd like to go to Canada. I've never been. I Well, I went when I was like 10 for like 10 minutes. Like, never really been. So I would like to go to Canada. Are there any holiday traditions that you would like to try but haven't had the chance to? Caroling. I would love to go caroling. I think that would be so fun. What's something on your wish list that you would never buy for yourself but want really bad? Hmm, that's a really good question. 
I was thinking about getting an instant pot like I kind of really want one but like I already have a crock pot so do I really need an instant pot um, Roger got one from his mom for Christmas so I'm like well tell me how it works like I may need one you may need to tell me that I have to get one <laughs> but I can't other than that I can't really think of anything I'm in a very uh, privileged position where my income exceeds my expenses and so if I save up long enough I can do or buy myself pretty much anything I want um, I, do, I also don't have like super high dollar tastes <laughs> so like there's nothing super out of reach for me that I couldn't eventually get to does that does that make me sound shallow and stupid I don't know I've I've worked my whole life I've never had any things really given to me um, I've just been very fortunate to have had a job all the time are you a pro present wrapper or do you tend to fail at the perfectly wrapped gift do you love or hate wrapping I like wrapping presents but I'm terrible at it like I use too much paper probably too much tape I'm awful at it but I like doing it what do you really want for Christmas I kind of got it for myself <laughs> I bought myself an ice maker like an automatic ice maker it like sits on my counter and makes ice cubes all day I know that it sounds like the dumbest thing but I love ice in my drinks and yeah I have ice cube trays but this is like awesome <laughs> I don't know like it seems stupid but like that's what I bought myself I got it on Black Friday and yeah I got a good deal on it I thought of something that I want but I probably won't buy for myself right away is a new camera for the channel um, the quality of this camera is great but I'd like something a little more high-tech because this is like the simplest bottom-of-the-line like good quality camera that I can get does that make sense like bottom-of-the-line of good quality um, it's a Sony Handycam in case you're wondering um, this one I've been using my entire channel uh, very rarely do I use my phone but sometimes and so I would like to get something a little better for the channel and I have one in my uh, on my Amazon wish list and it's right around five or six hundred dollars and perhaps after tax season when I find out what my tax is gonna be uh, I might be able to do that but for right now I can't spend anything else because I feel like I'm probably gonna have to pay a decent amount of taxes do you have a favorite Christmas TV special if so which one is your favorite um, probably Rudolph I don't know is that considered a Christmas special I mean I guess I would consider it that when you were a kid were you allowed to open your stocking gifts before your parents were up we were but I think it was a ploy to give my parents a little more sleep we were not we were not allowed to open our stockings um, we weren't even allowed to go in the living room before they were awake we had to wake them up first I remember my sister like she would wake up like every half hour or something starting at like 3 in the morning and she'd be like can we go now can we go and I'm like no go back to friggin sleep you weirdo and now her kids do that <laughs> so it's so funny to me Hmm. what's your favorite gift you have ever given this is from Maddie oh Maddie um three years ago maybe or maybe it was two years ago I gave Roger this keychain and what I had done is I had taken a card from his grandma and I had had someone engrave her signature um, from like a holiday card she had given him and it said love grandma and so what they do is they uh, engrave her signature into this little keychain thing it's it's like a coin um, 
and he keeps that in his wallet and I thought that was a really special gift that um, I gave him and what are we doing for my mom so for my mom this year we decided not to do gifts and we're gonna do an experience so we're gonna take my mom and my grandma and we're gonna go to the pottery studio that our friend Jessica owns have them pick out something that they want to paint and spend the afternoon with them so it'll be my sister me my grandma and my mom so that's what we're doing and I'm kind of excited about that I'd at this point in our lives you know we don't need anything and like I said I, I go when I get things that I want or need so it, it's an experience thing if you could spend Christmas anywhere in the world home not included where would it be I'd love to do Disney World just one year to see what it's like or Lapland I don't what's Lapland now I want to look up what Lapland is. What is Lapland? Lapland is Finland's northernmost region, a sparsely populated area bordering Sweden, Norway, Russia, and the Baltic Sea. It's known for its vast subarctic wilderness, ski resorts, and natural phenomenon including the midnight sun and the northern lights. That sounds fun. Um, I kind of want to spend a Christmas in Iowa with my dad's family. It snows back there. <laughs> we don't get snow very much here. Um, and it would be nice to have Christmas with that side of the family once in my life. I would really like to do that. I see that you get a lot of fox stuff for obvious reasons, but is there any other animals you prefer more? I know it sounds like a doesn't sound like a holiday question, but I once said I love penguins, and now every year for Christmas I get a bunch of penguin stuffs. And I'm so not into any of it. <laughs> um, I love foxes. Cows have been my favorite animal for years and years and years. Um, I also love whales of all kinds. Like, I, I think we started studying whales in like third grade. And ever since then, I've been fascinated. Um, someone had asked me on Curious Cat the other day, like, Who, what's your spirit animal? And I said a humpback whale because I honestly feel like I was meant to be in the water. Like, maybe I was a whale in another life or I'm going to be a whale soon or something. I don't know. From L.T. Shanley, who's your favorite aunt? Lisa. You can't ask me that question. <laughs> That's my aunt Lisa. <laughs> she can be my favorite because none of my other aunts watch my videos, so it's got to be Lisa. <laughs> red or green? Uh, red. Apple cider or eggnog? Apple cider. If you have one, what's your favorite holiday-related alcoholic beverage? Um, I think a peppermint, uh, like peppermint schnapps in hot cocoa. Bees knees. Um, in Leavenworth, there's a drink at Crystal's called an Apple Jack, and it's Yukon Jack, hot apple cider, and then a cinnamon stick, and it is so good. So good. Uh, Cha-Cha Magnolia, holiday vacay, all expenses paid for you and a guest to the destination of your choosing or stay home with family. Ooh. That's a tough one because I love seeing my nephews open gifts for Christmas, but I can do that the week after or the week before. So where are we going on vacay? <laughs> Um, if it's at Christmas time, I think a tropical island would be fun. Like, I'd love to go to Hawaii eventually once in my life. Um, or something like that. But I think probably a lot of people do that. Um, I would love to stay in the mountains for a week somewhere. I guess being snowed in in the mountains wouldn't be so bad. So some, maybe something like that. Which is your favorite Christmas movie? 
Oh, we talked about that. Pran oh, she likes Prancer, or he, uh, Crazy for Chesney. Prancer. Prancer's a very good one. <laughs> but have you seen Prancer too? Because it's fairly good too. Linda Price, 3186. How do you usually celebrate New Year's? What will you do this year? Um, Xavier and I talked about spending the evening together. Um, when I was with Roger, we would always go up to our friend's house and we would play games and ring in the new year with a large group of friends. Um, so I don't really have like a super like tradition, but this year, I'm sure Xavier and I will figure something out. <laughs> Bloodhound Mom times three. What kind of Christmas cookies do you bake? Of those, which is your favorite? We usually bake five or six different things. I know last year we had, I went shopping with my friends, which we didn't do this year. Uh, I usually have a baking day with my sister, my mom, and our friend Brenda. We didn't do that this year. I think we're all just so busy. And Though two, those two reasons are probably why maybe I'm not as in the Christmas spirit as I could be or should be. Um, Mexican wedding cakes are always really yummy. Um, I made some peppermint uh, chocolate chip cookies. No-bake chocolate, no-bake chocolate oatmeal cookies are like a really huge favorite in my family. Um, Magic bars, fudge, I bake all those, but magic bars are by far my favorite. She also wants to know gift wrap or gift bags. I'm all about the wrap. <laughs> if you were a Christmas side dish, which side dish would you be? This is from Always M Fresh. Um, if I were a Christmas side dish, I would be something a little bit spicy, a little bit fattening, spicy meatballs, I said a spicy meatball, I'd be a spicy meatball, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Maybe Millie, have you had any paranormal experiences? This is funny because my friend Lou is reading A Christmas Carol right behind you guys, so there's ghosts of Christmas past and present. Um. After my grandpa passed, I had two experiences kind of surrounding him. Um, one was like a couple months after he passed, and then another one was like a year and a half after he passed. So the first one, I was in bed, and I couldn't sleep, and I rolled over towards the closet, and I opened my eyes to like kind of adjust, and he was sitting there next to my bed. And he was in, you know, a typical outfit of his. It was like a, a plaid shirt and a hat. And he was just sitting there smiling at me. And I started screaming because I was like freaked out and scared. And he kind of disappeared. And then the one that happened like a year and a half after, I was in my kitchen and I was making bacon or something. And... I, all of a sudden, I smelt blackberry brandy and coffee, which was my grandpa's favorite drink. And it lingered for like 30 seconds, and then it was gone. And I thought, huh, what's he doing here? Like, what did I do? Just little things like that have happened. I'm sure they're actually nothing, but that's a, that's a cool question. And technically, it's Halloween as a holiday, so... <laughs> So fine, 247. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? What are some of your long-term goals? Um, I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to be a rock star. I wanted to be a baseball player. Um, teacher stuck with me, though. I wanted to be a teacher all the way until right before I went to college. Um, at that time, I also wanted to go to college for music. Uh, singing, but I couldn't afford to go to that school, so I kind of just, you know, said, well, that's not going to happen. So um, I started to go for radio broadcasting, 
and the job market was not great. So I gave that up to do accounting. And now I, I do love my job. I love what I do. I, numbers are a huge thing in my head all the time. So meh. <laughs> what are some of your long-term goals? <clears throat> um, I would like to own a house again sometime. I would like to live closer to my sister. I would like to have a child, either naturally or by adoption. Those are kind of my long-term-ish goals. Julie Warbs, do you think all arguments should be forgotten at this time of year and have a fresh start? I think that that is a really good place to start. I think this time of year is a good place to say, hey, I know we've had some issues in the past, but it's Christmas. Can we put those aside or can we talk about those, try to talk them out? Or can we just forget about those and be a family again or friends again or whatever? I think this is a good time to do that because people are more willing to forgive this time of year. And I think you are also more willing to kind of open your heart a little bit. Mrs. Aerosmith. Hey Candy, absolutely love your videos. My question is, how do you make your skin look flawless? I watch you do your makeup and was just wondering what you do off camera to your skin, if anything. I honestly don't do anything. And uh, that feels so shitty to say, but I, I don't. I don't. I, I wash my face in the shower and I don't even use soap. I just kind of like run my hands over it um i think i'm just very blessed with good skin from my family tur roberts 15 what is your favorite part of the holiday season personally i try to make it more about the time spent with my loved ones and less about the gifts so i love getting to see family members i don't necessarily see a lot during the year that's my favorite part too that's why like when i went to my comp not my company my family christmas i wish i could have stayed longer and I didn't get my camera out much because I wanted to spend that quality time with them. That's really sometimes the only time I see certain relatives is during Christmas. And so I like to spend time with them and not, not worry about that kind of stuff. Home Run Kid 87 Do you buy your pets Christmas gifts? Do they get a stocking full of goodies? Do you buy them Christmas pajamas and try to get a picture of them by the tree? Have you ever tried it? I promised my dog lots of treats for her good Christmas tree pictures in her Christmas pajamas. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, we do usually get our cats something uh, when we had dogs. At one time we had three cats and two dogs and they all had stockings. They all had their own stockings. So they all got some kind of treats. They usually got one toy each and then a bag of treats or something each. Um, I never have tried to dress them up. I just don't think my cats would like that. <laughs> like, I don't think they would do very well. Um, one time I put a bracelet on Midget as a necklace and she looked so pretty, but she hated it. Sylvia Daly 7 Gene Wilder or Johnny Depp? Gene Wilder. My favorite movie at Christmas is Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Love Johnny De Depp, but I love the original more. I watch it faithfully every year like a big child. Aw, it's actually a good idea. Maybe I'll get that one out. <laughs> <laughs> so my aunt earlier asked who my favorite aunt was. Uh, then my sister replied down here, now that isn't holiday related. And then my aunt goes, I just thought I'd sneak that in. <laughs> I love my family. They're silly. Do you think children should be lied to about Santa? Those words from parents, be good or no Santa, then finding out by a friend, the lie. <sighs> I think Santa is a touchy subject for people because I get why people would be like, no, I'm not going to tell my kid that Santa's real. Like, we're going to go from the start telling the truth because you don't want your child to know that you lied to them. And I get that. But, like, the magic of Christmas when you're a kid is Santa Claus. So, like, I don't know. It, I think it takes the magic away if you, like, don't talk about Santa Claus or don't, like, allow your child to believe in that. But... Again, then there's 
people who are more about like keeping the Christ in Christmas and that just was never in my family we never did that who is the toughest person you have to buy for this Christmas um my mom and dad are always super hard to buy for because again we're all adults and we just like buy whatever we need uh, let's see okay here's gonna be the last question Heather MH 76 hey candy so what special meal did your mom make for Christmas dinner and what is your favorite thing to have um when we got older like in our teens my mom always made a prime rib and lobster tails on Christmas I don't know where she got lobster tails from but it was super fun <laughs> that's what she would do for Christmas Eve and sometimes my uncle would come over and he doesn't eat red meat so she would make him chicken and we would all have this delicious prime rib and he's sitting there eating chicken and I'm like you're missing out dude <laughs> alright guys I'm gonna go get a couple more things done and watch Lou read the end of the Christmas Carol so I will talk to you later okay so here is the Harry Potter set I'm missing one I don't know what it is or where it is but we've got our two Hermione's here one in her robe her robes and one in her casual clothes we've got the same for Ron we've got him in his robes and in his Christmas sweater the one we got today was Harry in his Christmas sweater so I'm gonna put Harry Ron George and Fred in their Christmas sweaters over here by Hagrid's hut and I'm gonna add Hagrid and I forget what these are called but these are what pulls the carriages up to the school and you can't see these unless you've seen death and it just seems like something that would hang out with Hagrid <clears throat> so we've got Miss Ginny I'm gonna put her over here by her brother and then we've got the professors. So we've got Professor Lupin. We've got Dumbledore, Professor McGonagall, and Professor Snape. We've got Harry in his casual outfit and Harry in his robes. Please stay standing, Harry. You're being very difficult. We have Neville and Malfoy and Luna Lovegood. We've got Moaning Myrtle. And then we've got Hedwig, Harry's owl. We've got Crookshanks, Hermione's cat, and Dobby. So I'm not sure who we're missing, but we're apparently missing one because I only counted 23, right? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I'm missing one somewhere. I don't know who or what it is, and I feel bad about it, but we could add Thor. I have a little dwarf's Thor. So there's my Harry Potter set. I'm really happy with everything we got. Um, I'm going to have to check my room and see if there's one in there that I forgot about. I can't see who it would be. It's Nearly Headless Nick. That's who it is. It's Nearly Headless Nick. So he's in my room somewhere. So I'm going to have to go look for him at some point. But at least we figured it out, so I'm happy about that. So there is our Harry Potter advent calendar, all laid out, all beautiful, and I'm going to knock it down. No, <laughs> I'm going to leave it up for a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, so I thought we could do the other advent calendar. Our winner for today is Tambi Newton. Tambi, congratulations. And I'm actually going to pull tomorrow's as well, and that is Chelsea Ray. So I will uh, text both of you girls or message both of you girls. And those are all our winners. Like, it's crazy. So Tambi is going to get what's left in the advent calendars, and then Chelsea, your gift is just a little extra. So let's go through here. 
Uh, I believe we already did 11, right? For Ulta. I just want to make sure. Okay. So, day number 12 for Ulta, right here in the middle. Let's see what it is. It is a glitter eye top coat in this fantastic silver color. So pretty. All right. Um, what did you guys think about this Ulta calendar? Was it worth it? Let me know. Okay, we're gonna do our last day of NYX. fell down. Well, a lot of them. So I'm just going to move them back now. Because it was bound to happen. One night it did. Papa came home and it was just us kids. He had a dozen roses and a bottle of wine. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> this is an eyeshadow. The color is In Deep Trouble. Can you guys see it from this angle? Yeah, it's like a... Um, it's like a brown purple if that's a thing it's beautiful but I don't want to swatch it because I'm gonna give it to someone all right so that's empty what did you guys think of the NYX one um I didn't hate it but there was a lot of lips in it um yeah there was just a lot of lips in that I can't even really be mad about it because, I mean, it's NYX. They're, like, their lippies are kind of part of their deal, so. All right. Makeup Revolution. Day 24. Ooh! Amazing Lipstick in Simmer. This is gorgeous. It's a very nice, dark, vampy red like a blue toned red and then the 25th is a big it's like a big hole so I'm gonna assume yeah it's a palette so this palette is the reloaded palette really nice nudes and reds and pinks it's a gorgeous palette if I didn't have a thousand eyeshadow palettes already I would keep it but this is gonna go to Tambi along with these other pieces and then Chelsea's gonna get her own box what'd you guys think of the makeup revolution one um, besides the two like two or three brushes that we got that I didn't think were anything special I actually really liked the makeup revolution one um, that one was I think that one was 55, the NYX one was 55, and the Ulta one was 30, I think, if you don't buy them on sale. So, yeah, and then the Harry Potter one was 55, and I would pay that again in a heartbeat. <laughs> uh, yeah, which uh, advent calendars did you like? Was there an advent calendar I should have done? I heard the Sephora one was really crappy. <laughs> like, yeah, I heard it was really bad. So, I think that's going to be it for Christmas Eve. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get this edited and uploaded for you guys. And then tomorrow morning, I have to leave super early to be up to my mom's. So, it's been, Vlogmas has been a thing. Vlogmas has been a thing. It's not a bad thing. It's not a good thing. It's... I don't know. I've had a lot of stuff happen during Vlogmas. I got sick. My cat passed away. Um, I feel like the season just got away from me. And I hope that you guys can understand that it's not always happy, happy, joy, joy at Christmas time. And... I feel like 
vloggers that put off that Christmas is all sunshine and roses are full of shit. <laughs> I hope that you guys can understand that what I share with you guys is completely real and completely raw and I don't sugarcoat things. I'm not Willy Wonka. I kind of wish I was. Like, who doesn't want to live in a chocolate factory? Hello? But, you know, it's... I share everything with you guys. My ups, my downs, my sideways, my backflips. I wish I could do a backflip. No, I don't. I tried to do a cartwheel like three years ago. Not a good idea. Anyway, <laughs> um, thank you guys for hanging with me for Vlogmas. Um, I will be putting up another vlog tomorrow, and then I might take maybe a week off. <laughs> Just a little time for myself and put my camera away for a little bit and not have to look at myself. <laughs> no, it probably won't even be that long. Um, let me say Christmas is on a Tuesday. Who knows? I might even have a video up by Friday. But we made it through. Um, I do want to do a year, end of the year roundup type thing. Uh, let's talk about what we want for the new year and what you guys would like to see from me in the new year. So if you want to drop that down below, that would be helpful. Um, we sort of talked about some of my goals for 2019, but, you know, let's... Let's make it a group effort and maybe we can do this together. Like, yeah. So drop down below what you guys would like to see from me in the new year. And yeah, we'll uh, we'll go from there. And Merry Christmas, you guys. I, I assume a lot of you are going to see this on actual Christmas. Um, just know that I appreciate each and every one of you taking time out of your holiday to watch a video of mine. And yeah. I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas, and I will see you tomorrow.